For all your TCG needs, make sure to check out alphatradingcardgames.com. What's poppin' everybody? It's a Sabre Wolf 94. So the word is, the next Pokemon Presents, it's gonna be on the 27th of February, which I believe should be Pokemon Day. And I don't normally do this, but I thought, hey, let me just make a My Hopes video. Not so much predictions, but what I hope would happen in this Pokemon Presents. I've already made my piece at this point that modern Pokemon games are just not for me. They just keep rushing them. They keep doing stuff that I don't really dig. And Pokemon is almost not Pokemon anymore in terms of uh, a lot of the Pokemon designs, a lot of mechanics. I don't know. I guess many people are liking these changes because it's something different from the same old shit. I don't mind the same old shit. If you think about it, the formula in From Software games it doesn't really change. You know, Bloodborne, Elden Ring, the Dark Souls games. There's new changes, new mechanics and stuff, but the groundwork, like the foundation, is still there. And I wish that was the same with Pokemon games. That old school foundation was there. But that stuff is over, at least for the main core Pokemon games. So I've made my peace with that. So, given the fact that we're not going to be getting old school Pokemon games as our main Pokemon games, my wish is that they'll do like a, a spin-off plus Pokemon game that's going to be kind of old school. So what am I talking about? Uh, a couple of years ago, I made a video talking about I want an Octopath Traveler-esque Pokemon game. And what I really meant when I made that video, some people I think sort of misinterpreted it, but the basic idea is Final Fantasy, you know, they've got Square Enix, they've got their Final Fantasy new games, you know, with the graphics, the real-time, I guess, RPG mechanics, a lot of changes and stuff. And something like Octopath Traveler, it's the old school. The pixel game, the 2D game, I guess. And that's what I want for Pokemon, too. Like, they can do the main new games if they want. And then I want them to do something old school. Uh, I don't mind if they don't include new Pokemon, or maybe they can include some new Pokemon, but maybe just do something like that. Something old school, sprite-based, 2D, something that's going to have another Battle Frontier again. A another thing I guess that they could do if they would make a game like that is maybe they could make a game in the old school format of Gen 3, where, you know, before the special and physical split, but then include a Pokedex that has new Pokemon, like old and new Pokemon from future gens as well, like from Gen 4 upward. Kind of like how a lot of these ROM hack games are, you know, you get the custom Gen 3, uh, I guess, format, but then you've got Diamond and Pearl, Black and White Pokemon, even Gen 6 Pokemon in these ROM hacks. I don't play them, but I have a general idea of how they are. Maybe do something like that. I mean, if Pokemon fan programmers can do this, and ROM hackers can make these games, the official, you no, know, Nintendo, Pokemon company, they could do this, right? Another cool thing they could do, which they'll probably never do, because then people won't be buying the new games, I think. It'll cut sales, but imagine if they made a Pokemon Maker, like how Mario Maker was when they made that a couple of years ago. Well, a lot of years ago at this point. I mean, it's... To the respects of ROM hacking and Pokemon fan games, we'd be able to make our own Pokemon games and it would be official shit if it came in an official game from Pokemon, like a Pokemon Maker game. I have my doubts if they'd ever make a game like that because it just screams exploit by the community. And if there's a game like that available, I mean, it, this isn't like Mario. If there was like a Pokemon-esque Maker game available, I think it would really cut it would really hurt any new Pokemon game they can just come out with, if they did it right at least. And then the last thing that would be kind of cool and something that I've been thinking about is Pokemon Type Wild. That fan game, if you guys don't know it, it's a proper 2D fighting game like King of Fighters, like Street Fighter. I'd say it's more akin to King of Fighters. It has a lot more complex mechanics than just Street Fighter. But... It was an awesome Pokemon game, and, uh, you know, that that game is completely unofficial. I think at, at this point, they're never going to acquire it or do anything like that, but it'd be great if they made their own 
2D official Pokemon fighting game, not 3D like Pokemon Tournament. I think that'd be really sweet. Only problem is that if they did do something like that, it would feel like a complete ripoff from Pokemon Type Wild. Like a lot of the characters in that game, like Blaziken and Breloom and Gardevoir, Gengar, it's probably characters that you would want to use in your own game. I mean, I guess, I think a lot of those characters like Gengar, they're in Pokemon Tournament too. So I don't know, but maybe a Pokemon fighting game would be pretty cool. A mystery dungeon game, I can't say I really want them to make another one. And I guess that's it. I mean, what I think they're going to announce, like, I guess going from hopes to what I think is going to happen. They're probably going to do DLC for Scarlet and Violet. Um, I think it's too early for them to announce a straight up new game. They'll probably spend a considerable amount of time talking about like the mobile games and uh, all the more casual stuff they always have. It would surprise me if they did anything more with Diamond and Pearl. I think those games are dead in the water, Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. But if they did do some sort of DLC for those games, it would be crazy. Like if they said, hey, we're going to include the Platinum content now. But I'm really doubtful. That shit is just done, done and dusted. But that's about it. I'm not expecting any main core games or I guess maybe they'll announce them at the end and say this shit comes out next year or something. But I think we're going to see DLC for Scarlet and Violet. 20 minutes now is a considerable time, so who knows? Maybe they'll have some hot shit for us after all. Anyways, guys, this is my hopes video, and I guess I gave my predictions at the end too of what they're going to do. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, subscribe to the channel, leave a like, and share this video with your friends. Check out all of my other social links in the description, Twitter, Facebook, uh, Rumble I guess, Instagram if you want to. And check out my book if you're interested in old school Yu-Gi-Oh! I've got the best book, 100%. And that's it, see you guys next time. Waray!